Welcome to UJA Sports Night Out. We're here tonight to hear Rich Goose Gossage, a great sportsman, a former New York Yankee relief pitcher, and one of the newest inductees into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Everyone here is really psyched to meet Goose, not only to hear about his wonderful career, but to learn about his passion for philanthropy, why he spends his time giving back to those in need. More than 300 men, women, and children from around the Metro West community have come out tonight to support UJA and to hear Goose's story. I'm thinking it's because they too share a passion for giving back to their community. And what's the most effective way they can do that? It's through UJA, which allows them to reach out to Jews and improve their lives locally, in Israel, and around the world. If we don't take care of each other in this community, who will? This is a responsibility we take very seriously. Now enough from me. Let's see what all the buzz is about. So Goose, when did you realize you were a role model in an area other than baseball? We as, as athletes are, are looked up by our youth and um, or by the youth in this country and, and it kind of just goes with the territory. I don't think I really specifically at one time said, hey, I'm a role model. I've always tried to give back to the community wherever, you know, wherever I was, wherever I was playing. Uh, Colorado Springs, I've, I've uh, um, been involved in, in fundraisings for uh, fields. We built nine baseball fields and eight soccer fields uh, in a complex. And so, you know, just giving back to the community is, um, you know, I think is, is very important. Let me ask you a quick question. How do you think Goose Gossage embodies the message of UJA? Well, I think, first of all, Goose is a philanthropist himself. He does great community work in his home community. And I think it's just really great in this age of when, you know, we're looking for good values in our idols. The fact, you know, Goose Gossage had a great career, did not use steroids, and he really its something we should all aspire to, and he's a good idol for all our kids. What does UJA mean to your family? Well, um, actually, UJA means a lot to my family because it funds excellent organizations, including Jewish Family Services, which is a social services agency where my wife uh, worked for many years. So, Goose, what was the defining moment for you as a professional baseball player? You know, I don't know if there was a defining moment. I think there's been a lot of moments in my career that, uh, uh, you know, I said it's like a 10-year-old kid going to Disneyland and and getting on his favorite ride for the first time and not getting off for 22 years. And that's really how, you know, um, I think that, you know, experience is the best teacher. Uh, it took me a few years, uh, you know, three or four years to get, you know, the experience under, under my belt that I needed to, to go forward. Um, I worked very hard on, on developing a breaking ball. I always had a, a really good fastball. But I needed something else to go with that, and, and sometimes you have to, in your career, uh, most of the time, uh, you have to take some, a few steps backwards to take some giant steps forward, and, and that was no different in my career. Hey, Harris, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks Good for coming out tonight. You. Good seeing you. I have a question for you. Sure. Do you think it's important to bring children to Sports Night Out and show them what UJ is all about? Absolutely, Ron. I can't think of a better event to bring your kids to because you can come out, have a great night out. You get to meet uh, usually a great sports celebrity. Tonight we got Goose Gossage just elected to the Hall of Fame. Uh, great Yankee, great. And I think it's a great opportunity for kids to come out and uh, see, obviously meet a celebrity, but more importantly, get a feel for what the organization is about and see what it is that their family's supporting. All the great help and all the things that UJA does here in our community, in Israel, all throughout the United States, through, frankly, 60 countries throughout the world. It's just amazing what we do. What does UJA have in common with Goose Gossage? Well, if you think about it, here's a guy, Goose Gossage, who when he started in his career was a guy out in left field that didn't think he was needed. Well, what he proved is that everyone is an important part of the team. And the team is where it's at. And while doing things on your own is good, doing things in unison with a unified goal, which is what UJA's mission is, is really the way to go. Goose, you're a successful athlete who has achieved so much in your career and in your life. Why do you spend time now talking about the importance of giving back? Uh, it's it's something that I, I really enjoy doing. I do a lot of uh, charity events around the country with different organizations such as your own. And and um, I get to meet a lot of great fans that really enjoyed what I did. And, and uh, 
the you know the all I wanted to do when I started playing was put a big league uniform on one time and that one time turned into 22 years. Do you think Goose Gossage is a good role model for our children? Uh, yes, I do think Goose is a good role model for our children. He's known as a hard-working baseball player. He was good to his teammates. His teammates liked him a lot. Um, you don't hear anything negative about him in the news, which you do about a lot of athletes these days. And he comes out to events like this and supports uh, good organizations. So I think he sets a, a good standard. He's a great role model. Why does the idea of sportsmanship fit in so well with UJA? Sportsmanship. Well, you know, Ron, I'm just starting my uh, baseball coaching career. And one of the things we're talking about is sportsmanship means teamwork, right? Mutual respect so that the team, the team players can win. What does winning mean? Accomplishing your goal. UJC is unique in that we're an umbrella organization. We work with 14 different local agencies and various partners around the world. We all have to work together. We all have to respect one another. The ultimate goal in UJA is to help Jews in need. Well, now you've heard just about everything, or at least whatever we could get people to say tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the evening as much as everyone here seems to have. See you at spring training. No, seriously. As you can see, philanthropy can be a lot of fun while achieving something very meaningful. Hey, my friends, you know what they say, give till it hurts. I'm going to take my seat. I hope you'll join us soon. To learn more about UJ, visit us at www.ujcnj.org. Live generously.